we just hit 1,000 subscribers like a week ago or something, so in celebration of that, we're finally gonna review the guy from the profile picture. Now, for those of you who've seen this bay before this review came out, you're probably like, what, why, why, why is, why are you reviewing it like such a long time after it was your profile picture? Well, A, it was because I'm, I was lazy at the time, and I just thought, eh, I'll eventually review this bay. I did not. It took me like a year or something. But before we get into reviewing this thing, I just want to take a step back and talk about how many times I've reused this design. So the first time was in this one system, which is kind of like a mix between those layer splitting systems and, like, um, the metal system and turn system because the layers could split the two different parts determined to spin direction, and it used Beyblade Burst Discs. It was a horrible system. All the bays were really thick, and I'm just not a fan of thick bays. Sorry, Men's Guy. But most of them were, like, um, 1x4 bays. I hate 1x4 bays, so I scrapped the whole system. But I used this design again for another system that uses Metal Fight Fusion Wheels. Again, it was just kind of an uninspired system, and I didn't really have that much fun making those bays. So... I thought, okay, that was it, I'm never gonna review this bay. But with the recent boom of my sparking system, you know that I had to make it into this one. Now let's stop talking about history and start talking about now. <sighs> this is why I need a script for my videos. My camera is really bad at focusing, but if you can see that, you can tell that the Extreme XL layer is THICK. Yes, I do actually like thick bays. It's just not ones that are 1x4 bays. Those ones I'm, I'm not a fan of, but anyway. Um, you can see it has the two huge blades on the top and the smaller ones at the side, kind of similar to Cyber Exo, the original, who was horrible at attack. But now this one has decent attack and a lot of recoil with this point right here. So this should give it some really good attacks in that area. Now, I made this thing a fused um, chassis and layer because A, the original design used these pieces and I couldn't find a substitute for them that would fit with a slimmer bay, and B, I wanted to add some kind of unique gimmick. Now, what gimmick was that? A gimmick that made this thing more like Drasil than it already is. I added these two metal balls right here, which I just stole from Acid Viper, because let's be honest, I don't use the turn system anymore. Um, but yeah, they should help with balancing out the bay, and maybe they can get unbalanced and it can deliver a huge attack or something like that. And it's metal, so I guess it could add some potential weight. And, um, I just placed, like, these, um, tiles inside, because tiles have a space inside of them where things can slide around. So I just placed the balls in there, and now it works like that. We cover them up with this, we add the centerpiece, and that's the layer. I like this thing. Let's move on to the driver, Exceed. Exceed is probably the best driver. I've used it, like, three times now. I did it on the original Mystic Valkyrie, Hyperion, and now this thing. But why am I using it again? Well, because A, it's the best attack driver, and B, I need an excuse to have another one. Now, I would have made a green, except there is one really interesting thing about this particular plate I used. Its burst resistance is crazy. Sometimes I fail to take this thing off with my hands and I have to use a brick separator. But yeah, it has really good burst res for some reason. I don't want to call it exceed dash because that's kind of boring. It's not really a dash driver. Um, but yeah, that's it <laughs> for um, EXO. This might be a bit underwhelming, but honestly, I'm just happy that this thing is finally no longer just in my PFP. Now, let's get to the thing that everybody skips to, the test battles. Let's go. Of course, the test one first. It's pretty fast, pretty fast. Not as fast as something like Hyperion, but I'd say it is um, decently fast, so. We're, of course, gonna start with everyone's favorite bay, Ragnarok. Because, like, Ragnarok's bad. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Ragnarok's not very good. Burst resistance is, like... It's, like... Pretty bad, actually. Uh, we're done with Ragnarok. Ragnarok's boring. Uh, let's do, uh, Lucifer. Let's not do Lucifer. Hold on a second. Yes, yes, go! Whoa! Okay, so it broke Lucifer. So it is better than most of the average Beyblades. So now, it's time we get to like, um, or actually those are kind of like low tier bays to be honest. 
Um, we're gonna do, um, Helios. This is like the pinnacle of averageness. And that proves exactly why. It bursts in like a singular hit. Alright. So, so far, um, this EXO is definitely proving its worth against, um, the other base, but I think it's time we face it up against the attack types, which are really good. Of course, we're gonna start with Hyperion. Let's go! Oh, it's catching up! Oh! Ooh, it almost came back, but EXO's just too strong. Alright, nice. Let's... Let's do that again. That was actually sick. All right, go. Dude, I don't say that. I don't say go shoot that much, but you know what? It's fine. Oh, Hyperion's are coming. Look at how exciting this is. Oh, this is not a great battle. Okay, if Exa wins this one, it might lose. Yeah, okay. Um, let's do that again. One more time. Tiebreaker match. Oh, it's going. And it went. Alright, uh, should we just leave him in the pocket? Nah, that's kind of dumb. It would be pretty funny if we just stockpiled a bunch of bays into the pocket, but... Not right now. So next we're gonna do Mystic Valkyrie. This is the first official battle um, that Mystic has been in. And but and with some other testings I did before. Oh, double burst. Okay. Um, I did some testings prior, and this thing actually like this Valkyrie has pretty poor stamina. It broke. <laughs> it broke right here. All right. But yeah, this Valkyrie it, it doesn't have the best stamina, which stamina doesn't matter too much. But, like, you don't want your Beyblade to just instantly die and then, like, you know, all that happens. Alright, let's do, uh, one more battle, I guess. This stick lost its height. I kind of feel like it's not as good anymore. It just has bad stamina, no metal. They just stopped. I do think Mystic slightly won that one. Um, but just in case, we'll do one more battle. Alright, I think that's the Bay Gods telling me to not do that again. I don't know what's up with this. I don't know why it's breaking so easily. But, we're not here to battle it against Mystic or Hyperion. We're, of course, here to battle it against probably the best stock Bay. Detonate Dragon. Let's go. Oh boy. That sure happened. Double burst. All right. Oh yeah. Um that okay. That's like the first time I've seen Exo burst. Hello, this is um Cyberbase's editor Cyberbase and I'm just here to tell you that Exo didn't technically burst. But, like, the plate that connected it to the base of the driver came off. Anyway, back to the video. Mm. Go, shoot. Go, shoot. I don't know. I think... I think Exo's gonna lose this one. D Dragon's just way too solid. Yeah, okay. Let's do it again. Go. Go. Shoot. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Dude, Exo just turned into Capricorn. Alright, nice. But it did lose, but whatever. Alright, go shoot. Go shoot. Easy KO. Alright. That was... Pretty surprising, actually. Um, but let's do... A couple more battles. Wow, dude, Exo is just, like, delivering such strong attacks. I think it's gotta be, like, those recoil points on the main blades or something. But honestly, I don't know. It kinda fell off my launcher, but we'll see what happens. I'll tell you what happens. It's gonna lose. Oh. Yeah, okay. These two seem to be pretty evenly matched. I might have to do an entire video dedicated to battling these guys. Okay, that was the launch. Oh my gosh. 
Exos. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get Dragon. Come on. They're like neck and neck in speed. Oh! Oh, if only it just stayed in the pocket. That was hype, though. Okay, we're gonna do one final battle. Come on! Oh my goodness! I don't know. Oh, wait, look at that! It awakened. See? I told you, it does work. I, I told you. It burst. <laughs> Dang it, dude. Alright, I think we're gonna um, end this video off here. Maybe we'll do a separate video for the rematch against these two or something like that. But that is it for um, Extreme Exo. The Bay, about a year in the making. So, um, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, comment, like, subscribe. Do whatever you want. Get in the stadium. Thank you guys again for 1k subscribers. That's honestly amazing. Seriously. Thank you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Oh no, I hit Dronzer. There we go, buddy.